Hi, this is um, Dan Soy, a.k.a. Batman in the Kitchen. Welcome to the Food Zone, where we both learn new recipes together. Today we're going to make um, a quick jalapeno slider. So um, we have um, ground beef, we have cheese, we got chipotle pepper mayonnaise, we got the slider buns, um, we got jalapeno shreds, and we got red peppers, I mean red um, potatoes and adobo goya. So um, we're going to just put this together and these are um, just like going to be small little sliders and um, it's like a 10 minute meal. The longest it takes is um, to do the beef, but um, we'll go to the pot soon and um, thanks. All right, so we're gonna take our top off and put um, olive oil in there and we just wanna coat that. And um, then we'll get going with the beef. All right, so we're just gonna put that beef in there. And we're gonna um, just um, light our stove and put it on medium. And we're gonna get started cooking away. All right, so you can see the beef there. We're gonna break it up. We're gonna actually make this like a manwich sauce without the manwich. Um, so we're gonna have to cook this for um, a couple minutes. This is basically a plain slider um, recipe, but um, you can customize this if you want, but it's all up to you. So we got that in there. We're gonna add some um, adobo. You can hear it sizzle. If you want it, you could add a little bit of tomatoes, but we're gonna just want the natural ground beef. All right, so we got that cover on and um, it's gonna take like a couple minutes, four or five minutes. All right, so um, we're cooking away there. I'm gonna cook it down a little bit and then I'm going to add these fire roasted tomatoes, some of it, just to give it some color and some tomato base. So sorry I didn't tell you that before, but it's fire roasted so it'll add some to it. And then after we get that going, we'll, um, we'll um, cook the, um, the potatoes in the same oil. So it's one pan. You can see how that's coming together nice. The olive oil and the ground beef. And there's adobo goya in there. We're almost done. All right, so we're done cooking that. You can see the steam, steam of vision. And um, we're gonna take um, our fire roasted tomatoes and we don't wanna overkill it, but just throw some in there to give it some color and add some tomato back base to it so it's kind of like a um like a manwich type if you want you could have added manwich sauce to this and um get it but um you can see all that nice olive oil in there and the tomato and ground beef so that's our base and we're basically done we're gonna just if, we, if you have to you can put that on medium heat or low and saute it a bit. And if you want, you could just kick it up with a little bit more tomatoes, but that's basically it. All right, so we got the sauce in there, like I said, and um, you can mix it around. And um, the final step why it's warm is to add some of this, like the cheese, you wanna save half of it like throw half of that in there. I'll put all the ingredients in the descriptions. And like I said, you never have to go to another website um, to get 
to get my recipes but um you can see the cheese there so um just take your spoon or spatula or whatever you want and mix that all together so now we have that um ground beef with cheese and fire roasted tomatoes if you want it you could just actually plate this over top of rice or pasta or just on a plate or make like a taco salad out of it but um but it's actually really good i wish i didn't have to cook the rest so the thing I'm going to do is put this in a separate bowl and I'm going to go cook the potatoes in here and then we'll have our sliders and um, potatoes. Alright, so we took everything out. Actually, this bowl looks really good. It's all cheesy and tomato. So, um, that's really good. So now we're just going to um, put some more olive oil into this pan. Not much, only a tablespoon. And um, we're going to throw in um, our potatoes. So those are nice um, red potatoes and um, we're going to do those next. Alright, so we're going to throw in some sea salt. And we're going to throw in some black pepper. If you want you could add any more seasonings if you want now we're going to put this up to medium heat and we're going to um cover and we're going to cook this another three to five minutes all right so you can hear the potatoes um starting to sizzle i wish you could smell this right now but these are good quality red potatoes and we're just going to cook them in this pan with um sea salt pepper and olive oil for a good three to five minutes but this makes for a good 15 minute recipe like i said if i wasn't doing this with the camera it would be faster but i like making meals in 15 minutes or less or if worst case 20 minutes or less if you want it, you could add rosemary to this and make it rosemary potatoes. So I'll be back once that's done. After that's done, we can um, put the beef on the um, slider buns and then we're set. Alright, so um, you can see that um, it's starting to sizzle and the potatoes are getting a good color. So just mix that up a little bit like you're the home chef. See all that nice oil and the, and the potatoes are having the color. I got to get a smaller pan, but like I told you, this is my mother's pan. I love it. So, but that's basically done. Like I said, it only takes like three to five minutes. And now we'll go and um, do our sliders and then we'll just plate the potatoes with it. So we're set now. All right, so we're gonna start making these sliders. Um, the thing you're gonna wanna do is um, take mayonnaise and um, you're gonna wanna put the chipotle mayonnaise on all these. All right, so take your own um, chipotle um, pepper mayonnaise. Can you see that? Just spread that because that's going to give it a nice, a nice taste. So um, just take that and spread it. You don't want to overkill it. It's hard to work with these small rolls. If you want it, you could add another one, but um, this will be good. So just spread that and the next thing is to take your own um, beef and the lot and the, um, load these um, sliders up. 
If you want it, you can eat them as patties, but you can see that cheese in there. So you're basically done with that, and then I'll just put the next steps onto that. All right, so the next step of this is um, to put your cheese on top. So you got your nice cheese. So you can top that with the cheese. And I have like a lot of this stuff left over so I can use it for later. So you know what? You can put the cheese in this bowl and then you could just um, bag it up. But it makes for um, a good, um, I mean, it makes for another good recipe. So thanks for taking this journey with me so we learn things together. To be honest with you, I've never did this before. All right, so we got our jalapeno slices, shreds, whatever you want to call that. And we could put it on there and then on each bun. And like I said, we have this reserve bowl for whatever we want to do. If I don't use this, I'll freeze it. So I got that in there. Just mix it up. That's for another meal. The thing is, we'll just put the sliders back on the I mean the tops. And now we'll just get the potatoes and we're set. All right, so you see that we got our sliders and you couldn't beat a slider like that. So the thing is, yeah, these sliders are really good. So we got those three sliders. Now we're gonna take our um, potatoes and we're just gonna throw them on there. And our meal is done. And like I said, if you don't have a camera here, it only takes 15 minutes. So, there it is. You got your nice potatoes and your sliders. Alright, so thanks for visiting me, YouTube. Here's your jalapeno pino sliders. Sorry, it's hard to um, pronounce that, but... um. Here's your jalapeno sliders with your nice potatoes. And we did it all in one pan in 15 minutes. And that's it. So um, can you please subscribe? Can you um, hit the bell for updates, two to four updates a week? This is your Monday upload. I'm giving it to you Sunday um, early. So thanks for um, visiting Dan Soy, AKA Batman in the Kitchen, where we take this journey together. You be safe and um, talk to you soon.